Hey everyone, so these past few days have been crazy in the market. Uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, you have Dash going up 60%. There's a lot of stuff happening in the past couple of days, so we're gonna cover all that and go over some of the reasons why that happened and what was actually behind a lot of that volatility. So uh, today, actually, there was an article released uh, and it said uh, the CME, the CEO of the CME said Bitcoin futures could begin trading as soon as December. So as some of you know, um, CME basically, they have an exchange, they deal a lot with futures and they were uh, they published an article, um, I think a week or two ago, and it was announcing um, Bitcoin futures were gonna be on the way for Q4 of 2017. So that was actually um, a big catalyst as to why Bitcoin is rising a lot before then. So basically, Bitcoin futures, it gives exposure to more investors and it's more safer alternative to investors that don't wanna invest directly in Bitcoin, but they wanna invest in something that tracks Bitcoin. And the futures are a great uh, return, um, great thing you can do for high returns. Basically, um, it like magnifies how many returns you can get. So it uh, tracks a lot of people and tracks a lot of new investors. So seeing this article come out and saying, um, the CEO is saying, I think sometime in the second week of December, you'll see our contract out for listing, he told CNBC Today, hinting that trading could begin as early as the second week of December. So that's huge. Um, basically, what that's saying is, hey, you know, everything's going well, and if everything goes according to plan, uh, we could see the futures early in December. So this is great news. Um, he also mentions, they're telling him, what if Bitcoin goes to zero? And he says, I'm not going to let it happen. He says if the market drops a lot, then we'll stop trading. And then if he thinks the product is going away, they have longs and they have shorts that they'll match up the price. And that's how the rules are right now. So basically what he's saying is if it starts tanking, then they can stop trading and they can let people cash out um, their longs and their shorts and match them up to where uh, people don't lose all of their money. Basically, it's kind of like a, a stop loss trigger, if you will, um, like a safety mechanism. So I think that's great. Um, they already have a lot of stuff implemented right now and they're already thinking about all the kinds of different scenarios. So uh, I think it's this is great news and we'll definitely see more of this. And um, this is a definitely a big reason why, you know, Bitcoin has been um, rising um, the past the past couple days. So another article was on Dash. As you know, uh, Dash right here, it went up yesterday all the way to $540, over 60%. And then it came retracing down all the way to about $400 where it is right now. So a big reason for that was, um, you know, there's big talk about SegWit2x and how that was canceled and people are looking forward to uh, Bitcoin basically being able to handle more transactions, increasing its size from one megabyte to two megabytes. And since that was gone, Dash released, released an article uh, the day after stating that they were actually uh, upgrading their size to a two, megablo uh, two megabyte size and lowering their transaction fees. So I don't know if this was planned, but um, you know, after people's disappointment from Segwit2x, then you have Dash coming out and saying they're actually doing it. So that was a big, big catalyst for this rise right here. Um, you know, it was basically put them in the spotlight as um, you know one of the strong altcoins that are actually working on their uh, transaction sizes and how many transactions they can handle. So that was the biggest reason for this rise right here. Um, as far as support levels on here, you know, it looks like $400 seems to be the support right now. Um, it's bounced off of that a couple times, actually almost three times it's bounced off of that. So if you are going to buy Dash, you know, I recommend anywhere, you know, 380 to 400 looks like pretty strong support. Um, it's not investment advice, it's just uh, from what I see on these charts, um, you know, it's pretty much it's, it, this is gonna be the new base for Dash. So um, that was really good. And then looking at Bitcoin, so I drew these trend lines a couple days ago. It's basically the trading range that Bitcoin was in and the resistance and the support. And as you can see, the previous support I put was around $6,200. So whenever it broke through that, it went down all the way to 5,500, it bounced back up and then it came just above that and then it broke down again to about 57 and then it bounced back up and now it's holding that support line as you can see. So I would say you're safe around 62 to $6,300. Um, again, some people see Bitcoin still falling lower to you know 5,500 or even 5,000. So uh, take your profits accordingly and you know set your stops. But 
a big reason for um, this huge rise and this huge fall was the manipulation of the miners switching over to Bitcoin Cash. So looking at Bitcoin Cash, you can see it had that huge rise all the way up to over $2,500, and then it tanked, and now it's sitting at about $1,200. So basically what happened is people took uh, Bitcoin Cash, they the mining difficulty was so low, you can see on this graph here, the profitability for mining Bitcoin Cash was all the way up to almost 300% more profitable than Bitcoin. So this was on 11.11, and you can see this profitability skyrocketed. And then, so people were taking advantage of that, switching all their mining over to Bitcoin Cash, um, manipulating markets, and they were taking advantage of the cancellation of SegWit2x, basically creating FUD in the market and telling everyone, hey, Bitcoin Cash is gonna be the new Bitcoin. So taking advantage of you know everyone's emotions, people sold Bitcoin, and then they bought Bitcoin Cash, and that's what saw this huge volatility. Uh, at one time, you know, it, uh, dropped a thousand dollars in literally 10 minutes. So that was crazy um, Right now Bitcoin cash seems to be consolidating a little um, You know, I drew the support lines a couple days ago and it looks like around a thousand nine hundred to a thousand dollars but uh, I wouldn't trade Bitcoin cash right now um, I think I'm done trading it. You know, I took profits and because right now the volatility is so high and there's just too much manipulation right now so I'm staying out of it, but uh, if you are looking at it, then you know this thousand may be somewhat of a of a good support. But again, you know it was at three hundred to four hundred dollars for the longest time. So um, you know I'm I'm still weary of trading it at all. So that's that's what I'm thinking about it. And um, another thing is Bitcoin Gold actually um, released. And you can see it dropped over 15%, which is no surprise. Um, you know, Bitcoin Gold, even though it has Bitcoin in the name, there's really no, I would say, pull towards it like there is for Bitcoin Cash or Bitcoin. So, um, you know, it, it, this didn't make a lot of noise in the market. Um, basically, people sold what they had, the free Bitcoin Gold that they got, and you aren't hearing much about it. So, this may see another rise like Bitcoin Cash did in the future because it has Bitcoin in the name, but again, it's just another altcoin, and I don't think we'll see much out of it in the future. So, um, and one last thing I want to talk about: uh, whenever Bitcoin Cash rose, I actually noticed that Bitmain um, they produce, you know, some of the ASICs miners, and they're basically the main company uh, in China that produces all the miners. So I noticed a couple weeks ago they started taking only Bitcoin Cash as a payment method. So. That's another thing you have to look for. Sometimes companies will change what payment methods they accept in anticipation of a coin's rise. So I noticed this and I didn't act on it right away, but at this time I believe Bitcoin Cash was trading around $600, five to 600. So just keep in mind, you know, what companies are taking as a payment method, if they change from Bitcoin to Bitcoin Cash or, you know, different altcoins. Um, again, just pay attention to that because I think that has some uh, foreshadowing in it. So. Just another side note, um, you know, I thought I'd let y'all know. But basically that's it. Um, a lot of volatility the past couple days and it's, um, you know, I mean, it's crazy. Hopefully y'all were able to get some of that profit on Bitcoin Cash. Um, again, there's still some volatility right now. There's maybe some opportunity, but I think people have caught on to the manipulation. Um, there may be a second rise, but I'm not gonna mess with it right now. And I'd recommend, you know, being careful of trading this at all. So it looks like uh, people caught on and you know, now all the big, the big investment bankers have you know, got their cheap share of Bitcoin and uh, because they know long-term Bitcoin is gonna be the king. So they know futures are releasing soon and they know, you know there's a lot of opportunity for Bitcoin. So I believe this is just a shakeout for weak hands and to get you know, as much cheap Bitcoin as they could. So with that, um, thanks for watching. I hope uh, I helped some of y'all out. And uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. And until next time, see ya.